Ew, it's a bone. Ew, it's a chicken bone. Could someone have thrown that over here? How would a chicken bone get here? None of my house did it, and it's certainly got to be new enough since the time we've been here. Anyway, I was walking around, heard another noise out in the woods. I know we've had a lot of bear sightings. Well, not a lot, but we've had bear sightings in our area, which normally we never do. So if you get, say, I think we had about six in the Washington, D.C., Virginia, Maryland suburbs area in about two months, that's, that's a lot for us. So I was just curious. I looked, asked the internet, because I'm, I'm, it says to go sideways, don't back up, don't make it deliberately backing up, don't run, because he can, he'll, you won't outrun a bear. Um, don't, I think you're supposed to make him know you're a human, so speak and move in human-like ways, whatever the heck that is, and uh, wave your arms a little bit so he knows, but it also says just move sideways, but re at reversing slightly. Now, Gus would probably go crazy, and so it just, if we can't get away, and then I heard a story about, it said, hit them on the nose. I looked up something or another, and it, and then another story said it was about two people attacked by bears. And it said one, um, one punched the bear on the nose, and then it attacked him. Well, so which is it? Do you hit him on the nose, or, or if you hit him on the nose, he's going to attack you? So I'm just, I've looked this in the last two, well, this year, I've started to look this up on the internet a few times. How do you... What do you do if you confront a bear? And then I was thinking, I've been looking around because we got branches and stuff laying around and I'm just wondering if there's a big enough branch to try to, if you have to fight them off, if it's Gus and me, you know, can I find a big, I'll probably pick up a branch. If it's on the ground, it's probably already rotten and not used, worth anything. And me picking up a branch against a bear is probably not worth anything either. I don't think a football player picking up a big log and trying to whack a bear is going to come out well. So I looked up this morning because I heard another noise in the woods. And I said, can, and I, it occurred to me, can you choke out a bear? Can you rear naked choke a bear? So I asked the internet and the first thing, you know, you get those three. And the first one says something about could an MMA fighter blah 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 and it says no <laughs> no he's not going to choke out a bear and then the next one said could you choke out a bear and it said no almost certainly not almost certainly not almost not so there's a possibility you could choke out a bear maybe they're talking about a baby bear that weighs like 40 pounds I don't know but anyway I haven't been choked out because you you know you have to tap unless you want to go to sleep but and I also have I don't think I ever managed to get anyone to tap for me but uh, if I had to and managed to get on the back of a bear and the other question is how is their neck can they twist their neck around because like if you get on his back and then you're choking him can he twist his head back and just bite your face? Because that could certainly happen. I think Leonardo DiCaprio in Remnant, Revelant, whatever it's called, Remnant, knows that. So anyway, just, just some thoughts. Nothing about God, but could you choke out a bear? Well, that's not the question. That's like that old story. Can you outrun a bear? You're, you, you and another guy are walking down a wood. You see a bear. He starts chasing you, or he sees you, and he, your buddy says, run. And he goes, what do you think we can outrun the bear? Do you think you can outrun the bear? No, but I can outrun you. I think you get the message. So, I mean, maybe somebody could choke out a bear. That guy's not me, but just the thought.